Hello, everybody. We are live today in our first three minute Thursday. Ask me anything. But um, this is our first week. So normally we would have fancy music playing, but I don't have any copyright free music. So I don't want to get in trouble with Facebook. But just pretend there's a nice song playing today. And then we'll let a couple people hop on here. You can always comment in the comment box, but I'm not able to see the comments yet because it's our first week. And, um, but feel free to comment underneath and please be kind when you do. So we will get started here. I think, oops. Right now, that seemed to work. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Eric Duncan and I am the owner of the Fixed Chiropractic Group in Kego Harbor, Michigan. And this is our first week of the Three Minute Thursday, so I wanna take care of a couple housekeeping things. Since it is our first week, I won't be able to interact with you as much as I want to. I'm running this from my home studio right now, so my lovely wife painted the fireplace behind me as a Valentine's gift. So thank you for that, Sharina. And, um, we're going to go over some common questions. So go ahead and comment if you see this live or if you see this afterwards recorded because I want to answer your questions that you have about anything. Well, almost anything. Make sure they're related to health or health insurance or chiropractic. And we'll, I'll look over the comments over the week and I'll pick uh, the winner next week and we'll answer your questions. So if you had any burning desire to ask a question, then please feel free to do so and look for your question to be answered next week on Three Minute Thursday. So I only get three minutes each week to answer a question, and this week has little to do with chiropractic or healthcare, but has a ton to do with insurance and that impact on your healthcare, because it's very confusing for most people what type of insurance they have, whether the doctor's in network or out of network. Um, this week's question, comes from someone who wants to know what a deductible is and whether they're in network. So I will try to do that in three minutes. It's uh, my health insurance carrier actually just sent me an explainer video and I think theirs were two five minute videos of how my health insurance worked. But I'll at least go over the deductible today and um, we'll try to hit as much as we can about insurance. And if you have interest in that, comment below and I'll make a full blown video uh, that applies to your health insurance and seeing doctors, not just a chiropractor, any doctor at all. So the easiest thing I can do is tell you a story and give you examples of your health insurance. So let's get to work here. So we'll set the clock and here we go. So you have health insurance. Um, let's say you have one called, I don't, I'm not sure if I can use real names, so we'll do green plus red circle, okay? And this is the health insurance that you chose for 2019. So you're like, cool, I pay X amount of dollars a month, which is usually a ton of money. It's actually your second, visit, uh, second biggest expense after your mortgage, and some people it's actually higher than their mortgage. So this is a family of four. This is what I pay right now. So I pay this every month to insurance and you get a fancy schmancy card that says green plus red circle on it. So now what I look for when I have healthcare needs, I look for any doctor that's in network. So once I find that doctor, that doctor uh, agrees to bill my health insurance first before I'm responsible for any cost. So typical situation here, which confuses a lot of people, let's say you're a family of four, that's the easiest to work off of. So you have Bob, Susie, um, Jill, and Jack. Susie's actually my sister-in-law's name, so hola Susie. Um, but let's say Bob goes to this doctor that's in green plus red circle and he broke his arm. So he happens to have a big bill from that doctor. Now his deductible, which is what we're gonna be hitting on today, is $5,000 for an individual and $10,000 for his family. 
what happens is this broken arm cost Bob $4,000. So the doctor sends that to green plus red circle and green plus red circle said Bob has a deductible of $5,000. So he has to pay $5,000 before green plus red circle even chips away at his bill. So here's 5K on his thermometer because that's about the point where he reaches his boiling point and can't take insurance anymore. And he's up to $4,000. This three minutes is almost over, so I have to do this really quick. He goes to another doctor. Let's say he goes to a, a follow-up visit with his primary that cost $2,000 because he did um, steroid injection because he's having problems with it. That cost $2,000. The first $1,000 is not covered because it's still under $5,000. And then now... The remaining thousand dollars will be whatever deal he has with insurance, which is a coinsurance, which means he agrees to a percentage, or a copay, which means he has a flat fee of sixty dollars. Usually, it's a coinsurance in this situation. I'm out of three minutes. That was so quick, and um, I really feel like I failed you guys, and I have to apologize to that. But again, this is my very first week. Um, Insurance is tough, and it's my recommendation that you never ever judge your health care, whatever your doctor recommends, based off your insurance coverage. Because Blue Cross or Green Plus Red Circle can't predict what health care you know that you're going to have. It's a big formula for them, and it's about profit for blue, for um, insurance companies like Green Plus Red Circle. So when you go to your doctor's office. Expect the insurance to help if you've met your deductible, uh, but really it's going to be on you and what you value as far as getting better. So whether that you have an injury and you see the chiropractor or you get uh, medication from your doctor, it's really up to you to decide where that first $5,000 goes and whether it's important to you or if you have trust in that doctor um, for their treatment plan for you. After you meet your deductible, then the game gets a little bit different because now the insurance is helping out the majority of, of all your costs. I, I need to go into this further. I always recommend take charge of your health. Don't expect your insurance to because they're in it to make money. And we accept insurance at our office. Uh, we have Blue Cross Blue Shield. We're in network with Cigna, Aetna, HAP, Medicare, Medicaid. I mean, I think we're in almost every single insurance in Southeast Michigan. Check with your doctor or your chiropractor if you are watching this from out of state to see if they're in network with your insurance. Um, and just ask well a lot of questions along the way. Just make sure not to determine what route you're going to take to feel better based off your insurance coverage because I can show you in the future if you're interested um, tips and tricks in order to have your bill be the least amount with the highest quality of care and other things you can do with your money to make sure that um, it's more effective for you. So again, I'm sorry I barely covered anything. Maybe I'll keep this piece of paper, but I'm sure my kids will come by tonight and destroy this. But we'll see you next Thursday on 3 Minute Thursday and check this video out. It'll be archived on Facebook for a while, and then I'll put it over on our YouTube channel uh, for you to check for further reference. Thanks for joining us today. If you're not a patient, we encourage you to come in and use our services. We're in Kego Harbor, West Bloomfield area, very close drive for your, um, from where you are. So we're on Orchard Lake Road. And interact with us on our page, like our page, so you get future updates. Uh, thank you guys for watching today. Bye.